So today we're going to be talking about the 2005 AP Calculus Free Response Questions, Question 6. So on this question it asks, consider the differential equation dy over dx, negative xy squared over 2. Let y equals f of x be the particular solution to this differential equation with the initial condition. So part A asks to sketch a slope on the fields for the differential equation at the 12 points. So all we do is use this equation and plug in the points that are given, such as, so we use dy over dx equals negative xy over 2 over 2. So we're going to use this part right here. So that would be negative times negative 1. And since the y is 0, you just plug in 0 over 2. That would equal 0. So you just draw a line straight across. So now for the second point, you do the same thing using the same equation. dy over dx equals negative xy squared over 2. And then you just plug in the values, which is negative 1, 1. So that would be negative times 1 times 1 squared over 2. That would go a total of negative 1 over 2. So then you just, because it's a negative slope field, it's going downwards, so you can just go. And you do that for all of them. So once you're done, your slope field will look like this. Part B asks, write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals 1. So they already give you a condition, x equals 1. So what you do is for part B, use that condition that's given here, which is the same thing as this one. So we're going to use this one, this initial condition. F negative 1 equals 2. So then you use the equation that are given to you, the differential equation, dy over dx equals negative x y squared over 2, and then you just plug in these values. x is negative 1 and y is 2. So once you end up with your answer, use the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Since you already have your x and your y, this, your 2, your final answer, is going to be your slope. So you just plug it in to this equation. And that's your answer. Part C states, find the solution y equals f of x to a given differential equation with the initial condition f of negative 1 equals 2. So on this part, on part C, you use the equation dy over dx equals negative xy squared over 2. And your first step is to separate the variables. So you multiply dx to both sides. Separate the dx. So it would be dy equals negative x y squared over 2 times dx. And separate the y, you have to multiply 1 over y squared to both sides. So you end up here. Your next step is to take the antiderivative. So you take the antiderivative of, of these. And at this point, it, part C states, using the initial condition, f of negative 1 equals 2. At this point, that's what I use. So you plug in your variables.
Don't forget your negative. E equaling negative one over four. After you get your answer, you're gonna solve for y. You first use this equation. So it's negative one over y. And since you already have your c, you just plug it in. One over four. So simplify it. Negative one over y. Take out negatives because they're both negative. Over four. Sorry. So now at this point, you gotta get y by itself. Solve for it. So then you'll get y will equal one over x squared over four plus one over four. So this, to simplify it, you would get, because this is a fraction, you have to multiply the denominator to the top, so then you'll get y will equal 4 over x squared plus 1. And that is your final answer. Thanks for watching.